Welcome to Wisdom Wednesday number 64. The topic today is fear. The snake or the rope? Question. As you're aware, the world is in a state of fear these days. I see people doing crazy, selfish things because of this fear. I also see some beautiful things, like people making hard decisions for the sake of safety for humanity. How do you suggest we deal with this fear that we are facing these days? Personally, I see this as an opportunity to experience the oneness that we already are. We are already whole, complete, perfect, and connected. And this is an opportunity for us to see this unity. So um, what's happening these days is, I would just say, oneness on maybe a lower vibration called fear. So fear is bringing us together. We are all experiencing fear. We're all in this together. And so in this, in this all togetherness, we are wanting to help each other. Um, so in the space of oneness, this can come up. And so I see beauty in all of this. I see a lot of opportunity in this. You can also help yourself in this oneness by investigating um, the face of fear. So where, where are you uh, being triggered by this mass fear? And so this is your opportunity to, to clear your fear out of you. This is a trigger. It's an opportunity. So fear is, um, fear is a lower vibration coming from believing that I am separate from my source. And the ego says, I lack sustenance and I better get something uh, from the outside world. And if I don't get it now, I will die. So this is fear. Fear is speaking from here. Um, so you have a choice. You can either allow this fear to run you, uh, and when this fear runs you, you um, will allow it to eat away at your body, eat away at your mind, turn into anxiety, and even get to the place where it's destructive to yourself and destructive to others. Now, fear can go all the way to that whole side. You can choose to go that way, or you can choose it as an opportunity to um, clear out the fear that is sitting inside of you as unresolved issues from the past. You can use this opportunity to find freedom from fear all together, once and for all. It's an opportunity. You can take it if you like. So as an opportunity, um, there are things you can do. Now, I will also say that some of you are thinking, why is everybody in such a big fuss about this global threat or this global fear thing? Um, what I'll say about those of you who just don't understand why everybody's in this state, it's because you have, have not had anything in the past that created fear in you. So you're not being triggered. Or you might be a person who has done a lot of work on yourself and you have pinpointed fear, you have processed it, 
you have cleared out your past stuff and now you've come to a, um, um, a place of I know how to handle um, fear and all these other events that come my way you've learned how to take whatever coming in front of you instead of reacting you've learned how to uh, process it you've learned how to take a pause take a breath you've learned how to stay in contact with the watcher the witness uh, identify as the one who is free as the observer and then you watch the um, re response or the reaction on a physical level go through your body you've allowed it to express itself and then you make a decision you 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 once you've kind of let it all settle down into stillness inside of you then your intelligence will come forth and then you decide okay what should i do in this situation practically then you go about and do the most practical um, obvious thing to handle the situation or the threat that you're facing so you do it with a clear mind um, so that's those are that's those of you who have handled it already or you've never had any experience or you're not threatened or you don't feel the, that you're not triggered by the whole thing but I have an exercise for those of you who are triggered by this global fear thing and here's what you can do you can allow the fear to come into your body you're going to meditate on it and then check to see as it's moving through your body check to see if you have any memories come up it's 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 a thread so this is triggering something else that's occurred for you. Follow that until you get to an early event in your life. And once you can pinpoint what that event is, this is the point where you can see where you lost your power, you can see who, who um, was party to instilling that fear in you. Um, and once the memory is really, really clear, at that point, you can make a decision to take full responsibility for your new experience or your new understanding of the situation. You can choose to think differently now. And you may need some therapeutic help to make this happen. That's okay. But your job here is to discern the snake from the rope the rope is harmless there is no badness in the rope it's just simply what it is so you need to, to discern the fact from the illusion the snake is the illusion the snake is your projection that you put onto it that creates all of the anxiety that creates the fear that creates your that stimulates you to take an action that may be destructive trying to protect yourself and destructive to others so what is it that we need to do we need to discern 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 the snake from the rope and in that practice you're also knowing that you're already free there's nothing really much you need to do you don't have to run you don't have to do anything to protect yourself you can just know the difference once you know the difference there's no pain there's no suffering there's no fear because once you wake up and you realize, oh my God, I've been seeing a snake and there's no snake there. So what is real and what's unreal? That's our work. That's our discernment. Remembering your source that is free from illusion. When you connect with that, 
Then you get into a place of stillness. And then you can meditate on that stillness. And when you come out of the meditation, you're holding that stillness. And then you can look at the practical situation in front of you and make a clear decision. I hope that's helpful in um, how to handle the fear that's globally arising and the personal thing that you can do for yourself to clear out the thing that triggers triggered the fear. And when you clear that out, there's a possibility that you can directly experience something called fearlessness. And that's something for you to look forward to. Okay, good luck with your practice. See you next Wisdom Wednesday. Bye.